how to cope with change. Now today I just thought I'd do an updated video on how we can go about coping with change in our lives. Now I know a lot of people and especially myself, I do not cope when things in my life change. I am a person that loves things the same, I love the status quo and I am very uncomfortable when things kind of come into my life and change without me having that sort of control. It can make me feel very unstable and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that when change happens that can also make you feel very unstable and that could be that you, you know, you're made redundant in your job, you know, so many things can happen. You might just have a new baby and that's something that can turn your life and change everything on a dime just like that because suddenly you're sleep deprived. So there's so many reasons that we sort of, um, life sort of sends us curveballs and, and things just can change just like that. And sometimes we don't have that control. So it's about kind of standing back from the situation and and just kind of looking and, and assessing and, and sort of keeping yourself more in the moment rather than kind of worrying about the outcomes. And people tend to worry about what, what ifs all the time and what if this happens and what if that happens. And often those things don't end up happening, but you can cause yourself enormous amounts of anxiety and a lot of fears can come up in people. And these are the things that can actually make people quite physically sick and sort of contract their body a lot because they're worrying so much about what might happen because of change. But sometimes it's really important that we start to look at change that it can actually be a positive thing as well. And if you look back at your life sometimes, you realise that often that when you have experienced change in your life, it's kind of led you down a different road, but sometimes it's actually been a good thing. And looking back, everything kind of leads you. It's all part of your journey of your life. So sometimes change can be out of our control. Sometimes we create it ourselves. But change is just a normal part of life. I think you've got to also come to some sort of acceptance that things do change. Nothing really stays the same. I think it's... Um, Dalai Lama talks a lot about change. If you sort of look him up, he'll have a lot about how to deal with change. But he he sort of states that, you know, the biggest thing with change is you learn to just accept it. So it's about accepting what's happening around you and and allowing things to just be and, and sort of staying present in the now rather than letting your thoughts sort of race away on you because they're the things that can become very overwhelming, like I said, and create a lot of fear and angst and anxiety and that can build up in the body. So I think when it comes to change, I think you have to um, start looking at things from a, a different perspective and start to realise that change happens for reasons. And there's no one that goes through life without change happening to them. Yes, sometimes it's out of our control, but sometimes we do create it too. So accept the change when it comes along. I think that's the biggest part of the learning curve of, of change is to just accept what's happening and understand that it's there for a reason. And then looking back on the journey of your life, you'll realize that that actually had to happen back then or that change had to happen to get you to that next stage. So, you know, as much as you might, for example, have lost your job and became redundant, that's led you down another path and you've gone down another career path or, you know, in a few months' time you've got a completely different job and you're really happy in it, whereas you may not have been that happy in that job. So sometimes the universe has a way of kind of guiding us to other things as well. It's, you know, it's it feels like it can be out of your hands, but sometimes you also have to trust in your higher mind and your higher mind sees a lot of things that we can't actually see and it sometimes does create these changes and help guide us into the things that we're meant to sort of be and the direction rather that we're supposed to be going down. So look, when change happens to you, just try and stay really focused in the moment and say, you know, I can't see why this change is happening at the moment, but I'm sure that one day, looking back, I'll realise why that change is here. You know, no one knows why these things happen sometimes, but you know, everybody has their little um, tests and the things that they have to experience. So change is just a part of everybody's life. So learn to accept it. I think you'll find that it'll take a lot of that pain away and the fears and the worries and the angst that can come up sometimes when change arises in our life. Thanks for watching today. Bye.